This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Thursday of the third week of Lent. Today's reflection is entitled, The Kingdom of God is Upon Us. But if it is by the finger of God that I drive out demons, then the kingdom of God has come upon you. The kingdom of God can come upon us in a variety of ways. The line from today's Gospel above comes in the middle of a story of Jesus casting out a demon from a man who was mute. Once the demon was cast out, the mute man began to speak, and all were amazed. And though some were amazed and grew in faith as a result, others turned their amazement to irrationality. The irrationality of some was that they saw what Jesus did, but they didn't want to accept that his power was divine. Therefore, some of them said, By the power of Beelzebul, the prince of demons, he drives out demons. They couldn't deny that Jesus drove out a demon since they saw it happen with their own eyes. But they were unwilling to accept Jesus' divinity, so they jumped to the irrational conclusion that Jesus' act was done by the power of the prince of demons. This irrational stance of some people is one of the most dangerous stances one can take. It's the stance of an obstinate heart. They were given the incredible witness of the power of God at work, but refused to respond in faith to what they witnessed. For those who are obstinate, when the kingdom of God comes upon them, as Jesus stated above, the effect is that they react in a violent, angry, and irrational way. This form of reaction is exceptionally prevalent today in the secular world. Many in the news media, for example, constantly react violently and irrationally to all that is part of the kingdom of God. As a result, the evil one easily misleads many, causing confusion and chaos. For those who have eyes to see clearly, This violent and irrational rejection of the kingdom of God is very clear. And for those with faith and an open heart, the pure message of the gospel is like water to a dry and parched soul. They soak it up and find refreshment. For them, when the kingdom of God comes upon them, they are energized, inspired, and driven with a holy passion to further God's kingdom. Irrationality disappears and God's pure truth prevails. Reflect today upon your heart. Are you obstinate in any way? Are there teachings from Christ and His Church that you are tempted to reject? Is there some truth that you need to hear in your personal life to which you find it difficult to be open? Pray that the kingdom of God come upon you today and every day, and as it does, that you will be a powerful instrument of its establishment in this world. Let us pray. My glorious King of all, you are all-powerful and have full authority over all things. Please come and exercise your authority upon my life. Come and establish your kingdom. I pray that my heart be always open to you and to the direction you give. Jesus, I trust in you.